Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at a new Raspberry Pi case. So I've got on a little bit of a bender of uh, Raspberry Pis lately, so uh, uh, or at least printing their cases. I, I was looking, so I've done already two videos on two different Raspberry Pi cases, very nice cases. Um, however, I was looking for something a little bit more simpler and also a little bit more maybe modern looking. So I came across this one, and, and it's it's pretty simplistic in design. And uh, what it does is has this base piece that has that has standoffs with some small um, stanchions on them. Now these didn't print too bad. Now I did sand this piece. It's in ABS. I printed it on the DaVinci 1.0. Um, I had to clean it up. The DaVinci with it, their their poor slicer has this bad problem of circular things, of leaving artifacts on one side of them. And so again, some sandpaper, some light sandpaper really cleaned that up. And, and all in all, these came out really good, both pieces. I printed both of them, you know, side by side. So both came out on, on the same bed and came out very good. Um, so again, I was pleased. Now the concept behind this is, in short, the, the, the pie drops onto these stanchions. And it's a very nice fit. Again, I've cleaned this up a little bit with some light sandpaper. You know, it's, it wasn't hugely bad. Again, most of it, the Da Vinci's problem for the poor slicer. And then it sits on there. And, and, and for the most part, this actually may be good enough. It acts like a bumper. It actually sticks on there pretty pretty darn good. And uh, the, the only thing I don't like about it, and I'm probably going to change, is I would have liked something a little bit more... Um, uh, having something a little bit more feet-wise to, to mount it and be able maybe to put some... Uh, a stick on adhesive feet on here or something not major i think i can add that in in, in tinkercad pretty easy and remix this um i think i am going to remix it for for a couple different uh pieces because uh, i really do like this and then now this this snaps on here this this in short pressure fits and it's going to take take a couple hands to do this now i'm going to warn you this is a one-way street uh, there is no way you're going to get this, I think, back apart without breaking it, putting it together like this. However, that is really cute. I really, really like that. Now, part of what's a little bit of a bummer, not really a bummer, but uh, the GPIO pins are a little bit off. When well, they're not off, however, this, you know, if you wanted to really get at them, it's going to get in the way a little bit. Uh, also, the LCD screen uh, connector back here is over top this, so uh, you could probably mix this up a little bit better. It depends on what you want to do. However, you could bring the GPIOs out. Um, I'm not sure I've got, I was just looking to see if I've got any type of vertical connector that I can lay my hands on pretty quick. Nope, that's all soldered. Nope, nope. I was just looking. No, I don't have any sitting over here on the bench. You'd think I would. Well, I sort of do. I've got, I've got this. This doesn't quite count. However, I think you can see, you can sort of get it in here. Uh, sort of on those, those back pins. It's not the nicest piece in the world to get to the back pins. Especially if you're using like a multi, I think these are called DuPont connectors. If they're not, I'm sure somebody in uh, YouTube will correct me. But anyways, you can kind of see that's a little bit hard to get at, although not not horribly, horribly bad. What I'd like to do is actually maybe come up with something where I can have, have a breadboard on it, sort of like uh, this. You might remember this I did with the the TPU for the Arduino a while back. So anyways, uh, this has turned out really nice. I really like this. And what I may actually do is maybe I'll do one of these out of TPU for uh, the Raspberry Pi. I think there'd be a problem though, pressure, pressure fitting it together. You can see a little bit of this, maybe some of the artifacting here left over from the Da Vinci on the one side of the stanchions. I get to it quite a bit. Uh, when I get time, I definitely do want to reflash the Da Vinci. Mm, a little bit of room left in there. So, anyways, um, 
hey, just wanted to share this with you because I thought this was this is pretty cool, especially if you're just using this to prototype. And so if I swing this over here, and there, there's the Raspberry Pi setup, you know, I could put this, you know, for the Raspberry Pi instead of having it sit over there. That's what I was thinking about. However, actually, right now, what I'm doing is um, I've uh, made a new base for this that the Raspberry Pi will actually go in the base of that, and it will sit up uh, on this new base, and it's printing out right now, so I got my fingers crossed. It's going to be like a five-hour print, so I do a video on it. However, again, I wanted to share this uh, because I've got a, several of these Raspberry Pis, and, you know, they're great for messing around and um, all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, hey, if you found this interesting, again, I'll put the link, Thingiverse link, to this below. So, uh, if you want to go ahead and try printing it, see how it works for you. Um, if you maybe have a case you want to see printed, or a Raspberry Pi case, it, it's got to be a B plus or a 2 because that's all I have. I don't have... Uh, I don't have any of the A's or the new ones out, so I've only been buying the twos. Uh, let me know below. I'll print it out, see how it works, and give you my review of it. Um, you can never have enough Raspberry Pis. It's almost like Arduinos. I do not know how many, how many of these these damn Arduinos I got laying around. I got a whack load of them. I don't know where they all came from. They're like tribbits or whatever those things are on Star Trek. They just keep multiplying. I don't know. Wherever I turn, I find an Arduino anymore. The ra Raspberry Pis are becoming like that. Again, it's just so cheap. So unbelievably cheap. So, anyways, hey, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Even if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up anyway. I appreciate it. And, hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.